Hi there, Rocco here, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be continuing on with the basic DeForce tutorial that we started in our last video. Uh, if you're new to DeForce or if you're just new to DAS in general, then maybe it's best you watch that video first before coming back here as we're going to assume that you already have. Uh, you'll be able to find the link to that up in the top right corner. Uh, also, as this is an ongoing series, it's probably best for you to hit the subscribe and the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss a thing when I post more in this series. As you can see, looking into our scene, we've already got a character loaded. Uh, her name is Amira, and she's been created by Blue Jaunt. Uh, she's also wearing a skirt and a little top, and as usual, we've put some hair on the top of her head. Uh, for the purpose of this video, the only thing that's really important is the skirt. Uh, to that, we are going to apply our DeForce modifier. We're then going to pose the character and then see how the skirt looks after the DeForce simulation has run. And then I'll, I'll just knock up a little scene and uh, I'll create a nice little render for the final results. So hang around for that. Now what we need to do, we need to come across to the character and to select the skirt. Now the LSO skirt already comes with a DeForce modifier applied, but for this uh, video, what I've done, I've removed it just so that we can go through the whole process. So with the skirt uh, selected, we come across to our simulation settings tab. Uh, we come up to our little menu option up the top, the four lines and the triangle, give that a click onto DeForce. And again, add DeForce modifier dynamic surface and we give that a click. Uh, once we've done that, uh, what we need to do is we need to put her into a pose, as was mentioned. Now, I've already selected a pose before, right? Because you don't want to spend me, you know, spend five minutes watching me deciding what to do. And I'm just going to go with this RSAS2 standing pose here that I've got set up. So we select our character, we double click on the pose and Daz will eventually put her into that pose for us, as you can see. Uh, now, there's not, it's not a very dramatic pose, and the reason for that is because we're only going to be running the simulation on uh, the current frame. You know, in the next video, we're going to go through doing an animation with DeForce so that she can move in, you know, from one pose into another pose. Uh, so there's nothing too dramatic on this uh you know, DeForce sim that we're going to be doing, uh, but it will just again show how the clothing reacts to DeForce and how things work. The reason I've put a ha I've chosen this particular pose with the hands up and out the way is so that the hands don't interfere with the with the skirt or the DeForce. There are ways around that if hands or other body parts interfere or intersect with the, the clothing, but it's probably not for this video. We we'll, we might address it in the next video, which is about the animation. Now, all that's left to do is for us to run the DeForce simulation. Uh, if it takes too long while it's simulating, I'll just speed up the video. Uh, but once it's done, we'll take a look at the results, and then what I'll do, I'll knock up a little scene, and uh, we'll just put her into a nice little render. Uh, so, yeah, I'll run the simulation, and then get back to you when it's done. And so there we are, the simulation is now complete, uh, and as you can see, the, the skirt has draped naturally due to DeForce and through the DeForce simulation. Uh, and it's as simple as that. Uh, it's all you really need to do with a lot of DeForce. Yes, you can start to get creative, and yes, you can start to get imaginative with, with it, as we will do so as we go on in this series. Uh, but just to simulate a simple skirt, that's about it. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've got something out of it. If so, drop me a little like down below as it'll really help and it'll really appreciate, uh, bring really appreciate it. Uh, even better, why don't you hit subscribe and the little notification bell so while we continue this series, you won't miss a thing when I drop a new video. Uh, finally, if you've got any questions about this video, any questions about DAS in general or DeForce in general, then again, just drop them down below in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.